I'm watching a French movie. Oh, you guys are so nice. Oh, shit, I forgot. You guys are probably watching the live broadcast of Summer Jam, aren't you? Oh, that should be interesting. That should be really interesting. I think we're watching it over here. It's, it's pretty cool. I have just been writing and shit lately. And just making new songs, like endlessly. Like I, I can release it all today, but, you know, my ninja is just not right right now. Well, I can't wait to hear them, trust me, you're going to love them. You're going to love them. It was so fucking hot. No, I'm not in Toronto. Maybe I'm in Toronto, maybe I'm not, I don't know. I'm wherever you want me to be. Honestly, I was trying to take a selfie today, but, um, I just, okay, all the girls in here, you guys know how it goes sometimes, you come out the shower and shit, and just the motherfucker ain't got time to straighten, to blow dry, first of all, to blow dry, and then to straighten, or to curl, or to wave. Or to just whatever. Like sometimes a motherfucker come up the shower and motherfucker leave the house. That's it. Now then. But this bitch is fucking long now. And now that it's healthier and I've been treating it and taking care of it and, you know, and it's stronger, I'm going to dye my fucking hair. This week, bitch. So, okay, there's two colors in mine. I can't tell you guys though. I just can't. I just can't. But one is a really bright color, and the other one is more of a neutral color. So just pick bright or neutral. Okay, if you pick neutral, put the number one in the box. Okay, all right, the score. Okay, how about bright? Put number two in the box. Neutral is one, bright is two. A little bit of one with a lot of two. Mm. Whoa, that's a lot of twos. Okay, um, okay, we'll see. I don't know, but I think I might look a little weird with bright. You know? I already look like a fucking... People say I look like... What the fuck is on TV? It's not as fucking the shit out that bitch. No, but... I don't want to look like a fucking... I don't know, you know what? I don't care, actually. I want to do whatever you guys want me to do. Because I feel like I owe that to you. I haven't done shit to my hair in so long. Looking boring as fuck on Instagram. Like, people are probably like, what, who the fuck is this bitch? And why do all these little ninjas love her so much? Like, what is she doing looking basic as fuck? You know what I'm saying? So, like, bitches don't know that you got to go through a basic process to reach your ultimate perfect, like, perfect level complexity. You know what I'm saying? You got to go through that phase first. And you got to, you got to just, you lot of shit. I am in public. Hey, welcome to the room where you meet singles and meet up and fuck each other in the ass. It's free to try, and then you pay $10 a month. Bitch. Anyway. <laughs> you did look high. Anyway. 
Ass is fucking nasty. Ass is nasty. What do you mean, ass is nasty? Like eating it or fucking it or sniffing it or looking at it or just ass in general. What do you mean? Like you gotta specify because the motherfucker don't know what you mean. Let's see your ass. You're such a perv. You're such a perv. What a perv. Fuck her right in the pussy. Okay, so I've been having this debate with everybody that I'm in a car with lately. You know the turn down for what song? Don't you guys think I should have been the one to do it? I mean, like, they're cool and shit. They sound amazing. But, like, come on. They should have fucking gave it to me. Like, just, it should have been our song. Turn down for what? You know? Like, we got that. Like, shit, man. Like, they didn't hold no fucking auditions. It wasn't a fair game. I wasn't even able to, like, stand a chance because I didn't even fucking know about it. <sighs> So that kind of makes me sad every time I hear that song. Wow, you guys ask hilarious questions. You ever been to Hamilton? Of course I've been to Hamilton. I have so many family members in Hamilton. Talk about Hamilton, Ontario, where it smells like fucking armpits and shit. It smells like fucking armpits, right? Okay, can you see me better? Thank you. Like a drug. Like a drug is coming, okay? It's really coming. And it's it's not going to be as long as you think it's going to be, okay? It's just, just because you're not hearing about it or you're not seeing, like, artwork and stuff like that, trust me, it's just one of those. It's just one of those where I know you guys have been waiting and you know I've been working, so no one else really matters, to be honest. Like, I'm not worried about people who don't look out for me. Like, I'm only worried about you guys. So we don't need none of that. It's just going to be a... Artwork one day, release a song with the video, and then boom, whole project's just going to drop for you guys. And while you enjoy that for the summer, I'm going to have a nastier project coming. Like a more raw, like amazing project coming for the fall. I'm just going to keep giving you guys stuff. That's it. I'm not worried about no fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like shit that don't fucking matter. Like... Everything else these extra ass artists are doing, like, they, they forget their roots, you know? I'm chilling. I just want to make music, and that's just what I'm doing. Are you high? <laughs> that's why I didn't want to sit down here, because I can't open, keep my eyes open. Is it a different sound? Honestly, like a drug is like, fuck your feelings times 10. It's the same, like, theme, the same energy, but it's a different, it's a different art piece, you know? But it's like, it can be cousin art piece, but like, like a drug is like the hotter, older sister of fuck your feelings. Just like 10 times better and just greater. Like, it's just so crazy, just all the projects that we've been doing, like, each one is just better than the fucking last, and, like, it really amazes me. And honestly, you guys inspire me so much, because sometimes I'll just be so stuck, like, oh my god, I don't know what to do in the studio right now, you know? Then I go on Twitter and talk shit to you guys, and you guys are just like, you're the best, honey, yes, bitch! I'm just like, oh my gosh, my fucking ninjas, I need to make sure they're fucking happy with the next shit I do, or just everything I do every time. You know what I mean, botch? Hey, botch. Relay botch. Relay botch. 
Really much? Really much? Really much? <laughs> Hello. Why are you asking me about my love life? THD, you guys need to tell this person about my love life. Okay, if you know me the way I know you, in one word, what is my love life? <laughs> no, Dick. <laughs> You want me to bash Jay Park? What do you mean bash? Okay. I am in love for like two days. And and then it's like shit, wait, no. No, no, I don't want this. No, I can't, I can't, I can't. Nah. Nah, this is weird. Nah, nah 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 nah. Get money, get money. Have you ever gave head before? Laugh my fucking ass off. Have you ever been with a bitch? No, but a bitch has been with me. <laughs> the eyebrows, though. <laughs> Honey, do all Asians have small butts? Um, I wouldn't say small, I would just say flat. Like, and all of us Asian bitches know that we're not blessed with a big set of anything. Hardly. Only a couple of us are, if we're lucky. Most of us are just small framed and flat and short. But we're amazing people. We cook and we clean and we have a million kids for you. You got a big heart for your ninjas. Thank you. I think I only have heart for my ninjas. I don't think my heart's really anywhere else. Nah, no lie. Asians are loyal as shit. No, Asians are. What label are you signed to? Oh, that's a great question. Oh, oh, that's such a cute question. I'm not signed to any label at all. At all. I'm affiliated with a lot of dope artists. Not a lot, a few dope artists with some dope movements that I fuck with and support. But I'm not signed to anyone at all. My longest relationship was probably, I've only had two relationships in my life. I've had actually maybe more, but don't really count, you know, some high school shit. But I've had two, my longest one was like almost three years. What do you think about labels? I think labels are a great fucking thing. Labels are amazing, like, they do what they're supposed to do, you know? Deliver the music, market the music, and fund the music, because the world needs fucking music. But label deals, I would say, like, they need to be right, you know? Especially if you want to last in this shit, and you want to make actually make an impact, and you need to be able to not always be able to control your shit 100%, but, like, have people who understand how serious you are, what visions you have, and stuff like that. So if it's not right, a label deal is nothing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Can I brush your teeth? <laughs> 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 
Sure. Do you agree that anal is needed in everyone's life? Why you guys all talk about, oh, you know what? Because I all talk about anal. But when I say, like, fuck you in the ass, I don't literally mean I want to fuck you in the ass. It's just a thing, man. Stop taking it so technical. Anal is whatever you want it to be. You want it to be in your life, you'll do it. But you guys aren't allowed to have sex. I hope you guys know that. I swear we already made this clear that none of us are allowed to have sex until we're married. Honey, tell us what the fuck is a thought sis. <laughs> Come on, everyone knows a fucking thought sis or a thought defer or a thought Alexander. <laughs> Come on, man. Did it not click? You get tight whenever someone calls you Suchita? No. I swear, I don't know, people call me honey, people call me cheetah, people call me baby mama, people call me, you know what I'm saying, sweetie, people call me like all sorts of shit and I'm just like true. Do you care? Where cheetah come from? Cheetah is... Cheetah, come on, man. I'm not about to do this. If you know where Cheetah comes from, then you probably got to hit up Wikipedia. I'm just Wikipedia me, but remember, 9 out of 10 things you read on that Wikipedia page are not true. <laughs> like, who, who the fuck did my Wikipedia page? Please wrap the fast part of sugar honey icy, please, if you love us. What fast part? How does it go? The fast part? Um. Bitch don't even know her own song. Are you fucking stupid, bitch? The song is not fucking out yet. It's not fucking out yet. And I was just gonna rap the whole fucking verse. But you have a fucking attitude. So let me August Alcina the situation and say, fuck this shit, it's over. <laughs> Do you like Indonesian guys? Um, never had one. <laughs> Ever listen to pills and potions? Yeah, actually, I clicked the, um, I listened to the link the first day it came out. It's a pretty amazing song. It's so cute. It's so cute. Such a cute song. How's your ghostwriter been? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. If anything, I'm the fucking ghostwriter in the fucking team. Remember that shit. What's hilarious is you denying it. Okay. What's hilarious is that you can't prove it. Don't you know a ghostwriter no matter what? Actually, you know, I don't have time to even educate you right now because you don't even have the energy to educate yourself. At least come in with some sense. You know what I'm saying? That's just sad. It's just sad. Why are you only seeing the negative comments? Ignore them. Okay. I'm not only seeing the negative comments. I'm talking to everybody in this room right now. And I like addressing negative people because sometimes that's what they want, you know? And they're humans too. Sometimes they're actually just curious. They just don't know how to be nice and ask. Sometimes they actually want to know. So you just got to be informative about yourself or no one's going to know anything about you. Never miss your mom when you're far away from home. Of 
record. I was my mom all the time. She actually just had a fucking birthday party yesterday and I couldn't even be there. Hey, how do you know the lyrics for Sugar Honey Icy? That's crazy. I honestly don't even know where I'm looking right now. Well, yeah, I did perform it. I performed Sugar Honey Icy a couple times, actually. Like, I've had the song for, like, months now. <laughs> and I can't wait for you guys to hear it, because you're, you're going to love it. But it's just so special that I can't just be released like that, you know? We're doing the video real soon in, like, two weeks. And it's just going to be amazing. Trust me. I'm putting a lot of sweat into this shit, because it has to be worth it. J. Cole is great. He's really great. I don't know what we would rap about in one song, but I'm an artist, so there are a couple songs that I've been really deep on where I, you know, can really touch on certain subject matters and really just deliver and like with more substance, you know? Like, I can do anything. So that'd be really interesting, actually. And then get back to Call of Duty anytime soon, pick up a PS4 and let's go. Honestly, really want to, but I don't have time, man. I'm fucking dying. I want to play COD so fucking bad. Blueberry Chill video. You know, it's not my song, so I can't really say anything about it. But just know the video is so cute and so thick. And it's going to come out when it comes out, but it's amazing. Trust me, there's so many things that are just lined up. And I'm excited. You got baby hair? Yeah, I have edges, you know. <laughs> What's the shape of? How to get braces, any advice? Um... Don't miss any appointments. Because you're going to end up prolonging the whole fucking situation. And it just takes some more time. Just make sure you go to all your appointments. Who am I wearing right now? I'm wearing Last Kings right now. Shaded. <laughs> Honestly, I'm fucking hungry. Yo! Yo! Yo, you down for wave stuff? Yo, call it in. <laughs> huh? I'm on Tiny Chat. No, I'm going to text you what I want. Just Google their number. Actually, I just called in two days ago. I have a number. I don't, I don't want to order it though, you order it. 
You want to throw her. What that mouth do though? Stop smoking then? Stop smoking what? Good lord, your tongue is like a snake, yo. <laughs> I know people have told me that my whole life. Like Diana, Hello Kitty the other day was just like, we're, we're taking a selfie and I'm like, hey yo, put your tongue out. And she was like, I'm like, that's your fucking tongue? And like, <laughs> and she's like, yo, you look like a lizard, dog. What the fuck? That's not normal, cheetah. Are you sure? Wrap sugar, honey, icy. <laughs> yo, I really want to wrap sugar, honey, icy, but I can't. No. Do you have a beauty mark in your vagina? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? Oh, I told you? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you really are a real fucking fan. God, Jesus, I love you. Wow. Hello. Hello, welcome to my house. Anything you want to eat, that's okay. You go eat, that's okay. I love you. Wow, that's amazing. So, I actually got so dark. I don't know if you can see, but I'm like really, really dark. I went to go see my mom like last week, two weeks ago, when I was in Toronto. Looked at me, she's like, wow, you dark. Where you go? I'm like, what the fuck do you mean where'd I go? I'm like the darkest one in my family. It's okay though. Do you want to do a tour for like a drug? Of course. Oh shit, you guys distracted me from my wing stock. Okay, what should I get for wing stock? Wing stock. Am I Asian for um, getting my wings and then? making rice and eating it with rice. <laughs> Is it? Oh, you guys are so sweet. Oh my God. Blanquita! Blanquita! Blanqui! Lucky, come here. Come here, Rankita. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Come here. Come, come. Here. Rankita. Yo, what's up, batches? Hmm, so pretty. You're just so pretty, aren't ya? You're just such a pretty little girl, aren't ya? She looks scared. Are you dumb? 
Why would you say she's scared? She does like me. She does like me. Trust me. She likes me. Trust me. She likes me. She's sitting right next to me. She likes me. She's just chill. She's the old lady. What the fuck do you mean she doesn't? How do you know? You don't know what we do? Okay. You don't know the walks we go on and things we talk about. You don't know us. You're a horrible person for making assumptions. Jeez. Because I have a dog and I know how they act. No, maybe because your fucking dog is on drugs and it's hyper and it misbehaves and doesn't know how to just chill. Doesn't know how to just chill. Your dog is psycho. Your dog is psycho. Gosh. Totally fucking Blanky doesn't even fucking like me. Yes, she does, idiot. Idiot. <laughs> Huh? I want an eight piece original hot. <laughs> Can I shit on your chest, please? Yeah, fuck yeah. What the fuck? Come on. Let's go. Can I bong hit your fart? Sure. Yeah, Bonkita came on and they said that Bonkita doesn't like me. By the way, Bonkita asked. I know, Bonkita fucking loves me. No, it's okay. It's okay, Blanquita. Look, Blanquita's typing. She's typing. Typing. She's typing. Wow. Very good typing skills. Oh, fuck you guys. I love her. Oh, thank you, Blanquita. See? See what Blanquita said? AP's original hot with um, no fries. I want veggie sticks. And a regular drink. And ranch. Wait, I don't know about ranch. Yeah, ranch. I, wait, I don't know. What else do they have? Honey mustard? <laughs> oh my god, you really got good back. Oh my gosh, batch. Batch, batch. Are you with that foo foo lame shit? That foo foo lame shit, I wear it. Yeah, but no fries. Is this one fries? Wait, no. No, I want potato salad. And veggies. Honey mustard. And I want veggie sticks. And veggie sticks. No, it's not boneless, right? It's boneless, right? Okay. And veggie sticks. Are you guys hungry too? Oh. Hey, maybe one day. When my album, when we drop an album, and the shit obviously goes like quadruple platinum, we'll fucking all meet up, and we'll have a Wingstop party. You guys down?
Out of all your songs, which one is your favorite? Like songs that are out or songs that I'm working on? Miles and Lemon Pepper. Is it the same thing? What state do you usually record in Cali, New York? Honestly, California is a great place. So I'm out here a lot yeah. if I'm not in Toronto. But I spend the same amount of time I do out in Toronto than I do here. I one day really want to live in New York though. And um, I'm gonna make it happen. But Cali is the place for me right now. And then I'll, I'll go to the east, I'll go back to the east. Thank God you didn't die. <sighs> you know, the shooting was made very public. And like, I know all you guys know about that. There's so many other things that has happened to me around that time too that were just as bad as the shooting that you guys don't know about. But one day, one day, just one day when it's right, we're all a little older and stuff, I'm going to tell you guys the story of what really happened to me in these past two years and why I've been quiet and why I've been gone and shit like that and pretty scary place and I'm just happy to be here right now. I just never wanted, wanted you guys to worry about me. I didn't want this to interfere with my music. That's why it's like, I'm either dropping music or I'm just chilling. You don't see me doing extra shit, you know? Life is real out here. Motherfuckers still got families and shit. Still got just personal things. And I know everyone is going through the same shit. <laughs> That's Cena, by the way, guys. You guys know Cena. I did not see Nikki's powerhouse performance, but I heard that she was bananas and that I should have been there to watch and get it fucking inspired and like just touched by it, you know? Like it was a raw ass performance, that's what I heard. I heard it would have gave me so much motivation, but I was in fucking Toronto. <sighs> It's okay though. Great, you already shared with us the story behind Fuck Your Feelings. Yeah, Fuck Your Feelings. That was, that was a hustle story. That was a grind story, you know? But all the like real, real life shit, like shit that's a lot deeper than that. Any aspirations in life aside from your career? Um, yeah, actually, I have to make sure that I travel the world. I've been all over Europe and stuff like that, but when you're on tour, you don't have time to like actually enjoy the cities and like nature and stuff like that. And like, I really want to do that. I want to just backpack across Europe and Asia. I want to like really get to know Australia. It's like something that I'm so interested in, which is the geographics of the world. And um, when I have time for that, I will do it. Um, I really want to get into film. I want to do a lot of film. I want to like, I want to be like the female version of fucking Tyler Perry. You know, um, probably will never be Tyler Perry, but <laughs> I want to fucking do it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just have dreams where, like, I direct movies and I'm in the movies, and they're fucking funny-ass movies, but they all have, like, 
morals and shit in the movies and like an actual message and it's all is family re related because I'm like I love my family so much you know so I'm gonna fucking do it okay let's, let's, let's think of an, an Elias right now I need a name should I be Susie Wong yeah <laughs> Susie Wong <laughs> okay guys okay guys Listen, this is, this is the plan. In 20 years from now, okay, let's, let's give it until I'm like, no, 15 years. We'll do 15 more years in music. I'll always do music for you guys, but let's go hard for like 10, 15 years. Stupid fucking hard, like world tours, like platinum albums and stuff like that. And then in 15 years, all of us here, we're all part of the production team. We're going to bring the Suzy Wong shit to life, okay? So start writing scripts. Start coming up with ideas, and this is the team right here, all of us. You're all fucking hired, and we're going to do this shit. You can be in the movie, you can write the movie, you can help me direct it, you can be part of the production team. Like, you can do whatever the fuck you want, but you're part of this shit. And we'll call this the Suzy Wong Project, okay? But you can't tell anyone what it's about. Yes, we're going to fucking do this shit. It's going to be so fun. We'll do like five movies. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so excited for life, yo. Just so excited for life. Cause life is just so fucking limitless. Like, the the world is so big. It's like so much bigger than what you see every day, or what you do every day, you know. Just be more than people tell you you can be. That's how it's supposed to be. You gotta be that crazy bitch who's like, nah, you can't do it, you can't do it, you can't do it. And you gotta be that bitch who's just like, bitch, yes I can, yes I can, yes I can, yes I can, batch. Yes I can, batch. Yes I can, batch. And then just do it. And people are gonna be like, oh, she did it! And you're gonna be like, oh, yeah, batch! Well, I better get off here. I won't reach my dreams unless I work. I don't know why I just read your message in that voice. But yeah, go chase your dreams. Love and... For... Presume. <laughs> We're going. We're going, Blanquita. We're going Blanquita, you don't love me? What are you doing? <laughs> We're going. When coming. I love when you do that voice. Any dream collabs? Honestly, I need to do a fucking album with MIA. She just needs to do her weird shit. I'm going to just tell her what to say. Like, all right, okay, this song is about, we're just giving me a studio on big. Okay, this song is about, all right, my boyfriend cheated on me, and I'm going to go look for this bitch, and she's ugly and fucking broke, and I'm going to beat her up. So that's the song. So I, like, you know, and I'll give her, like, a line. I'll be like, yo, just say this throughout the hook, and I'll, and I'll tell the story. You know, I just want to do that with, with M.I.A. because I love her voice. I just love, like, her energy on songs. Tell us about like a drug, please. Like a drug. Like a drug is like a drug. Let me go through the folder of like a drug right now. Ooh. Okay, um. Put rat shit, curveball, no chill, jump man, shady shit, can't get along, enemies like me, stretch, take mine, mine. Sound right, appreciate shit, cushion filthy with the mind, mm hmm, bash. Uh huh. This shit is a long way not fine.
What are you playing beats for? <laughs> Why are you mad, doll? First lady. First lady? Are you Asian? Oh, I thought you were this Asian girl rapper. She is my bae. Shut up. Hey guys, I have to fucking make rice. I was like, yeah, no one else make my rice because they don't know how to fucking make it the right way. So it's like too dry or too fucking wet. I'm just like, bruh, bruh, bruh. Bruh. <laughs> I can't take that shit because <laughs> because if the rice isn't fucking made right, I'm not eating it. I'm not eating. I'm not eating the whole day. Fuck it. I'm starved. Rice with chicken or corned beef. Fuck both. Corned beef on a Monday, chicken on a Tuesday. Shit. Hot dogs and rice on a Wednesday and a Thursday and a Friday and Saturday. Probably have some instant noodles. And then Sunday, make a big ass sandwich. That's basically what I eat. I like pickles and I can shoot three. Let's go! Thick ass fucking body. <laughs> What's a thick ass four inch slinger? What's a slinger? Oh, a slingshot? So I just went to a meeting right now, fucking buzzed off shit. What am I going to do after this? Well, after I get my wings up, I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to write. I got a couple more days of writing that I want to do, then I'm going to go in the studio and do last-minute things. And that's all you need to know for now. Make a sex tape with Jackie Chan. Batch. Batch. He is all as shit, dog. All as shit, dog. Man probably can't even get hard. Like, no disrespect, he's my hero. But, like, that's how old he is. Like, he probably has to pop a, a fucking a bag, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Doing the Jackie Chan look to you. Holy. Yo, honestly, I think my parents gave up on me. I'm serious. I'm so serious. Like, like, I feel like the last couple of times I visited my parents, like, they didn't even lecture me. They don't give a fuck what I'm doing. Like, they usually, they're usually like, oh, call me once a day. Come see me once a day. Before you go studio, you come see me. Mommy make you food. You eat here. Right? And, like, the last few times I came back, like, I don't know if they're banging again. They started, like, having sex and shit again. Because I know they weren't at one point. And they took all their anger out on us. But I think they're, like, just getting laid again. And they haven't been calling me. And I called them, like, two days later, like, 
how come you guys didn't pick up my call yesterday? And they're just like, oh, you call? I'm like, oh, you call? Yeah, I did, dog. What the fuck? You guys don't want to tell me to call. They're like, oh, that's okay. Okay, we go to sleep now. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you're going to sleep? It's 8 o'clock. Why, why are you guys going to sleep? We tired. Uh-huh, sure. And then my mom came to see me like a couple days after that. She's glowing and shit. She came and she came over to my spot and sat on the couch and was like, hi. So what are you doing lately, huh? What are you doing? And I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you coming in here with a fucking shimmy dog? I'm trying to lay on my couch and shit like you're Buddha. Is that your real hair? Yeah, I know. Yes, yes it is. It's sad. It's sad. I'm sorry. I'm not like the fucking Tumblr girls who have the fucking amaze bald hair. That weave, though. I'm pretty sure it's not weave, bitch. Can you do this with weave, bitch? No, you can't, bitch. No, you can't. Where are my tracks, bitch? Where are my tracks, bitch? Fuck, man. Fucking Asian dog. Looks healthy, yeah, because I've been using um tea treatment. Tea treatment. Okay, you guys need to record this and turn it into a vine vine, put a song behind it, okay? Okay. Are you one of those Asians that hate other Asians? There's Asians in the world that hate other Asian people? That's weird. I'd never heard of that. Do you even live, bro? Macadamia treatment? Is that the little shit? The little, the little midge bottle? It's like a brown one, right? It's like a brown one, right? It's like a brown one, right? Yeah, with the green lid. Okay, yeah. I use the same brand, but I use the tea tree mint one. And I use it every day or every two days. Oh, it's only supposed to be two times a week? Shit. Yo, we smoked that sushi. Wow, I really want sushi right now. Smoke my Mexican asshole. <laughs> um. Yeah. It's not in my wallet. How much is it? Okay, just take it. Take my wallet. I have, I have cash in there, yeah. Yeah, but I don't know how much it is. So, yeah, just take, that's what I'm saying, just take the wallet. Or, no, I don't use my card. I just want to get rid of all the cash I have right now. No, it's another side. Okay. You're like a stripper, you want to have one. No. Um, strawberry lemonade, like light lemonade. Oh, raspberry lemonade, yeah. So you click the light lemonade and then it has like a different one. Yeah, raspberry.
So you guys ever hear of this um, automotive engineer dude? He's like blind, but he fixes cars. Yeah, isn't that cool? Maybe it's like one of my friends. I don't, I don't know. Someone told me this when I was drunk. One of my friend's brothers or something, and like he's blind, but he can like hear the problem. Like that's so inspirational. Oh, did you guys want the broadcasting password? I just changed it. Okay, I'm going to give it to you, then I'm getting off. Because I'm too fucking high to talk to any of you on camera right now. You're going to be like, hi, and I'm going to be like, hey. You know? Yo, know, what is it? I can't imagine what it's like to be deaf in one ear. Oh, well, you can still hear. Um. Oh, yeah, actually, I have to get off to go make rice. So if I don't do that right now, then I'm going to have to wait for the rice. Why am I lying? I have rice. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. No, I do have rice. I have enough rice. Yes, I do. I do. Okay. Are you my mom? Okay, ninjas, I love you so much. Um, I hope I told you guys a little bit more about what's happening right now. And I hope you're not mad at me. Because I'd be really fucked up and I'm down to fucking fight you guys. Let's do it right now. Give fucks my shit out of all of you. But I'm working and Like a Drug is coming soon. I will try to chat a couple more times before then. Just so I can keep you guys updated. And remember the Suzy Wong project. Uh, I love you so much. Be safe. Say no to penises in the mouth. And um, get money. And have a great fucking summer to everyone who's on summer break right now. Shit, just fucking enjoy yourself. And don't fucking drink and drive. And don't fucking text and drive, okay? I had to call all my friends out on this shit, like, stop fucking texting and driving, dog. like, what the fuck, that is disgusting, okay, 